Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, lifeline for uh, attaching yourself to the kayak. Um, a few weeks ago, I don't know if you've seen my video on uh, Milt Milt 123, um, the club went down to, uh, down to Lacha Boating Club and the inshore rescue were having a fun day. So part of the, um, uh, the uh, stuff for what the club had to do was to display the kayaks, uh, the fishing kayaks, uh, and we had a good response for that. And we were going to do a display, so uh, one of us had to volunteer to throw themselves uh, in the river, and then they were going to get rescued. So um, uh, two of us went out, and uh, I volunteered to throw myself in, and it went really well. But I will put a clip of the video on here shortly, uh, and when you look at the video <clears throat> you'll notice that when I'm off on the kayak and I'm in the tide it was wind against tide so I was in the tide and my kayak was on the tide I was traveling with the tide and so was the kayak but the wind was holding it back and within a matter of I don't know two seconds I was a good four or five meters away from my kayak and when I tried to swim back to it against the tide with my PFD on um, and do it so it was a bit of an eye-opener for me so um, after that I decided now well I need to attach myself to the kayak so if I do come off in a tidal flow uh, I need to be able to get back to my kayak because your kayak is basically it's your, it's your float it's your lifeline it's a floating platform and it's the thing that you need to get back to you need to get onto it but if not at least you can get hold of it uh, and um, keep yourself with the kayak. So I went out and priced uh, these lifelines where you've got a belt and you attach itself to you and then you've got a carabiner and you clip it onto the kayak. Bit expensive, so I, I had a wander around the shops and I went down to the pound shop, local pound shop, and I picked up that, a dog lead for pound. So um, it's three meter extendable dog lead retractable um, one pound so the tools to do this now is a pair of scissors to open up the pack uh, a very fine Phillips screwdriver and a carabiner to attach to the end of the car uh, to, uh, to the dog lead when you look on the side now you've got two small screws uh, they look stainless steel now, a few people have said to me that, oh, well, you know, the salt water is going to affect it. Uh, yes, it will. But you can uh, put it in a, in a dry bag, attach it to, to your PFD, which I'll show you after. Um, cover it with a dry bag, and it will last for ages. When it is going to get affected by salt water is when you're in the water. That comes off. Pound. So Now then, um... On the first plate, you'll have this little button which uh, locks it. So take that out and throw that away. You only need the casings. Um, again, then inside, you'll find now that there's that there with a, a, a spring that's just shot off out. And that's it. You've stripped it, you've stripped it away. So basically, you end up with, let's put the finger on it, stop it all falling out, with that. Right, so, um, there's a little stainless, uh, not stainless, there's a small um, spring that's in these things. If it does come and wet, basically just um, get the clip and just give it a few turns like so and that will wind it up the clip will wind it up and then hold this all in place so put that back into there where it came from like so get the, uh, the get, get the cover again put it all together There we are. There we are. Now, when you uh, when you're ready to put the screws in, you've got the three screws. One's a short one, 
very short and that, ju that just pops in where the leash comes out into there that's a short one just for that narrow bit and then the other two slightly longer and there you go up in the top there and there like that and then um, just tighten them up don't tighten them up too tight because it's they're only screwed into plastic and uh, if you put too much pressure on them um, they'll well the thread just goes it's basically it's just into plastic so yeah, this will save, uh, save quite a bit of money and they're so cheap that if they do get in the water and if you're a bit nervous about them um, getting wet or getting damaged then with the salt water eroding stuff most of the stuff is out so the only thing that's going to damage is the spring um, then um, chuck it away get another one it takes you literally three or four sec well three or four minutes just to you know to take the gubbins out so basically that's what you got and that will go now to three meters and I grab my PFD um, I actually had one given well I had two given me uh, these dog leashes there's loads of people have got them and they they break for some reason or another um, and I've done it with this one I've attached it to my PFD as you can see so uh, basically that's it um, you can attach them anywhere you want uh, all I've got to do with this one now is I'm going to take that clip off there I'm going to put a carabiner clip on so that bit of plastic just slides off and um, you can undo the knot but uh, a waste of time make sure now that, that you've got the rope and uh, hold on to it the cord don't let it go because it's going to shoot straight back into the extendable dog leash and uh, you're going to have to take it apart to get it out again so <clears throat> basically just tie this on just show you quickly nylon cord is very very strong so I'll just do a couple more now I've cinched it up and uh, job done that is so strong that's uh, amazing there we are um, I'll clip that off I'm going to clip it off a little bit long like so just get a lighter there and just melt the end of the uh, of the line okay put that back up there and there we have it one uh, safety line nice and cheap job done and that's for a pound so um, you know you you'll find somewhere to put it on the on the PFD. Um, I dare say you could even put it in your pocket. You could attach it to one of these little clips on here, one of the pockets, and zip it up. Um, I haven't really looked hard at the PFD to see where it can go. Um, there's plenty of places. Leave it up to you guys where you think think that it might be comfortable. I hope this is a help. So anyway, right. Oh, sorry Murphy, the parrot. <laughs> Wondering what's going on here. Basically that's it. Um, so I, I said earlier that I'll put on uh, a clip of the um, of when I uh, threw myself off the kayak and into the tide. Um, and you know, you can time it. Uh, and I am drifting very quickly away from my kayak. It was one of the other boys was in, in well, out with me on his kayak so once I had left my kayak he his job was to actually grab my kayak and just make sure that uh, it doesn't go away anywhere. save you a few pennies there we are thanks very much for watching bye now Mike oh the jammy bar